Hi Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here and today we are going to make Crock Pot Pork Chop Rice Casserole. Oh, we're having a whole lot of fun. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. That is so mm. juicy. Welcome back to another edition of Cooking Chris's Dishes with the good old boy and Aunt Lou. And today we are cooking up a crock pot pork chop rice casserole. You got it right. And it's famous on the blog. And if you're wondering why I'm shorter right now, it's because I'm sitting down. Uh, before we go into the recipe, the reason I am sitting down is because. Oh, wait, wait, wait. everybody, grab your violins. Get ready. Play sad music. This is you're gonna give me a pity party at the end of this. Mm -hmm. I'm working on the deck. Y'all know I've been working on what we're now calling the mega deck because well it's big. <laughs> and I was putting on the last board on phase two of of the deck. And I'm on the outside of it, Addie's on the inside of it, and I'm up on a ladder. At the highest part. Like yeah, like the highest part. If you're standing on it, you're about twelve foot up in the air, so I was about eight foot up in the air being on the ladder. And I was trying to push the very last board into place, and when I did, I was hanging onto a baluster, and I was pulling the baluster to push in on the board, and the baluster popped out, and I went airborne, and I landed on my butt on a block of wood, and I landed on my wrist. I don't think it's broken. I don't like doctors, so I, I don't know. I told him to go get it checked in. out. But I know it hurts, so I'm I've got a little little thick wrist action going on here. I'm sitting down because my butt hurts to stand up. It hurts to sit down. It just hurts. So pity party on three. One, two, three. Aww, poor that was, Mikey. That was beautiful, and everybody was in two. Now. <laughs> oh, don't do that, dude. Don't do that. Don't you don't do that. Don't burn yourself and don't then don't hand clap when you Owie. Yeah. I hear some ibuprofen in my future. <laughs> so anyway, on to the recipe, Aunt Lou, go ahead. So you're gonna have two to three pounds of boneless pork chops in here, which we have. Ta da! And then you are going to have um, a cup of long cooking rice. Not your minute rice. If it says on the package it's going to take 15 or minutes or more on the stovetop, you're probably good. Um, Which I think we're using a jasmine, a long grain jasmine yeah. rice for this. My favorite to use is Jasmati, um, and because they've always had it up here, it's hard for me to find down home. But anytime I can get my hands on that, that seems to do really well in a crock pot. So um, then you have a can of cream of chicken, can of cream of mushroom, and that's soup, by the way. Oh yes. Can of cream chicken soup, can of cream mushroom soup. That is one and one quarter cup of You notice water. that he's not going to just let me do this. That he mm -hmm. has to, it, it's like he's my foreman. I got to have my hands in it. Uh -huh. I got to have my hand in it. Keep that one just still. Yeah. Then you got a one ounce package of onion soup mix. And you're going to have, let's see, a half a tablespoon of seasoning salt and a teaspoon of the sauce. Shire. Shire sauce. Woohoo sauce, as Woo some of y'all call it. Okay, so then all you got to do, you lay your chops in the bottom. Evenly. And Yeah, yes. Nope. Stack them all up on one like side. Like pancakes. <laughs> no, don't do that. No. And then you just take and pour all your other ingredients in here, and you're going to mix them up while Mikey does a monologue. This is a monologue. I'm not going to measure. I'm thinking that right there is about oh. a teaspoon. That is like... It's my teaspoon anyway. Yeah. And that was a half a tablespoon of that? Uh, yes. Yeah, so like a teaspoon and a half. There you go. Oh my goodness. You are just marvelous. Look at him contributing. I have to help. Contributing even when he doesn't. I'm a, I'm a great contributor. Contributor. All right. So that's the chicken, cream of chicken soup. Yup. And then here. And it did I'll say. I'll clean this up. Oh, I'm sorry. It did say salt and pepper to taste. Yeah, which we'll do at the end. I so, mean, you've got salt wanna... in both of your soups. Yeah. You've got salt that's in the onion packet. You've got salt in the seasoning salt. And you've got salt in the shire Wait. sauce. There's salt and seasoning salt? Well, it's seasoned Who salt. Who knew? I know. So we'll salt and pepper at the end if we feel like it. It smells good in here. I think it might taste good just like it is. Yes, I am super hungry because for about the last, what, two hours? 
we've been smelling it. Mm -hmm. This yeah. house smells really good. We've got three recipes cooking right now, and this house smells like a five-star restaurant. Yep. Oh, oh my goodness, you're more helpful sitting in the chair than you are normally. Okay. I helped. I don't want to mix this up with this. Can I? Oh. <laughs> Oopsie. So stir it up real good. Yeah, because you're going to want to kind of get the soup mixed in with the water, mixed in with all the spices. Mixed and, in with all the rice. Yeah. And then that's going to go directly over your chops. Yep. And you're going to want that. You're going to make sure you spread it out really evenly because you don't want your rice piled up in some spot and out of the liquid because that rice is going, it is not cooked. So you're going to have to have it um, absorb all the liquid so it really needs to be down in the liquid and um, we are using a six quart um, crock pot and see this is I don't know if I can get it in there yep see how it's all kind of come together instead of being all lumpy and everything and one thing to note if you know that your cooker your crock pot or slow cooker um, cooks unevenly then you're going to definitely want to rotate it halfway through yep and if you aren't sure, rotate it halfway through because that way, better safe than sorry, because I have, I have some that, you know, they just cook hotter on one side and when I have failed to rotate it, then you get one side that's mushy and one side that's crunchy and nobody likes that. Either so, way. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But now we're just going to pour this on and get it all out of here. I feel so useless right now. Well, I, I feel like you're helping out as much as you normally do. <laughs> I was joking, Mikey. <laughs> okay, we're just going to spread that out so it's nice and yummy on the chops. And then that is going to be set on low for four to six hours or high for two to three. Yep. Pretty much. Make sure your meat's done. Make sure your rice is done. Yep. And so we'll come back in a snap. And we will show you what this looks like. Oh, she's she's gross. I'll snap in three, two, one, and we are back, and it has cooked. We did ours uh, for the two to three on high, as it's taping day, and we're trying to do a bunch of taping. So we're gonna mm -hmm. see how it is on. I bet it's better on the low setting, yeah. but I'm thinking the high is still gonna be good. We're gonna find out right now. Da -da -da -da. Look at that! It smells good. It does smell good. I'm gonna. You know what? Are food you will, gonna actually get up? will even get me up. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Oh, that looks good. Okay, so oh, my goodness. I just pulled out a pork mm -hmm. chop. If I can talk pork Look chop. Look at that. And we got some rice on top. Now, without stirring it, just like with anything, you are gonna have like the kind of and this has been setting for just a little bit. Yeah. Um, so I mean it's not all broke broke apart at the edges, but I, I'm a weirdo, I guess you could say, because I like that stuff at the edges. Oh, that's oh, hush. I like the crunchies. All right. But I like looking, I mean, the, okay. Let's see if I can get my oh. hand to do this. Okay, this Look right. how simple and how tender mm -hmm. that is. That's just laying my fork on it, and that is just fall apart tender. That rice is perfect. Is it good? Oh, my goodness. Because it's not, I mean, it's not mushy, but it's not even close to crunchy. Yummy in my tummy. I'm so hungry. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, so mm. juicy. That soup. I mean, you saw how the wet mix went in there. It was really wet. It's got two soups, a cup and a half, or a cup and a quarter of water, and it soaked into that rice. And what didn't soak into the rice soaked into that meat mm -hmm. and just made it super. I mean, that is flaky tender. I, I don't know oh, if yeah. I've ever had pork that tender. <laughs> That is so Well, good. and it's just, I mean, and it's juicy. Like, it's not dry in the least. Mm -mm. No, I, that is perfect comfort food right there. Good job. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I like that. You like that? If you like this, if y'all like what you're seeing in the videos, whether it's my good looks, lose cooking expertise, maybe, maybe some food. Who knows? Yes. Give us a like down below. And also, if you have not become a member of the Crock Posse, 
All you got to do is click that little subscribe button down below and welcome to the family. You're a welcome member of the Croc Posse and if you want to know as soon as we put up a video, click the little bell next to the subscribe button known as the... Tingling. That's right. And whatever you do, laugh often. Eat good food. And speak life. Bye guys. See ya. Aunt Lou here and today we are going to make Croc Pot Pork Chop Rice Casserole Day. Almost had it. Uh, nya, 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 nya. Won't that hurt your booty? Not if I don't sit on it, bro. Oh, okay. Would you like a pillow? No. Or a puppy? It's swollen. My butt's swollen. <laughs> it hurts, dude. You sound so excited. I'm in pain. That right hurts now. so bad right now. I learned I cannot fly. Hmm. But I can land really well. If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon link below.